Hello everyone, and welcome to reInvent. Thank you for your time today. My name is Brian Plesnarski, and I'm excited to have the opportunity to present to you from space to your hands. A little background on myself, I'm the product owner for AWS Ground Station. I've been at AWS for just under a year now. However, I have been in the Ground Station industry for over 10 years. Ground Station is a service that I'm really passionate about because I believe it's gonna enable the next generation of builders to invent new applications and create new businesses as, an, as the overall space industry continues to grow. Just a quick, quick little overview of the agenda that I plan to go through today. First, I'm gonna give you a background on AWS Ground Station and how it fits into the Earth observation and remote sensing market segment. Then we'll go over a handful of examples of applications that you could use AWS Ground Station for and then finally, we'll talk about how GroundStation integrates into the overall market segment. For those of you that are here in Las Vegas for reInvent, I encourage you to also attend the following related side sessions. Net 308 will be presented by two distinguished individuals discussing how to automate astrophysics with AWS GroundStation. Then you can attend Net 401 to learn how to build your mission profile using CloudFormation. Within this session, you'll learn how to configure all of the parameters within the antenna system and associated equipment to support your satellite mission. This will let you define the frequency, polarization, bandwidth, modulation, forward air correction, coding protocols, and many more parameters. You'll even define where your data is delivered as is received in real time by ground station. Finally, don't miss out on the opportunity to hear one of our senior solution architects in NET 409 Describe how you will process your satellite data in real time using AWS services. Please join us at the AWS Ground Station booth in the Expo this week. We'll be delighted to meet you and discuss your use cases for Ground Station in further detail. Now let me go over a little background of Ground Station and how it relates into the industry. AWS Ground Station is a fully managed global service that enables people to access antenna systems that are located at or very near AWS data centers. This provides access to AWS resources and AWS services in real time. The picture to the left is one of the very first antennas that we install. It is a 5.4 meter S X-band full motion antenna system that is able to communicate with a large percentage of the low earth orbit remote sensing satellites that are operational today. The picture to the right is a high level description of the global AWS infrastructure. The yellow dots represent regions, which consist of multiple availability zones and each have multiple data centers. This is all connected by the thin blue lines that represent the global fiber optic network that enables AWS and our customers to move large volumes of data around the world at very low latency. Today, Ground Station is available in our Ohio and Oregon regions within the US However, Ground Station will soon become available at many non-US regions as well. LEO remote sensing users will be able to connect to this global network of antenna systems in order to receive their data as many times uh, as their satellites pass over each one of these regions and quickly move their data back to their processing chain in the region of their choice. And with the undistinguished heavy lifting of highly available and reliable infrastructure on the previous slide, customers are, not, are now able to onboard to Ground Station. This will enable customers to schedule their satellite contacts, command and control their satellites while receiving their satellite telemetry and payload data in their virtual private cloud, or VPC. Now customers will be able to begin processing and analyzing their satellite data in real time. Customers can even offer their satellite products or services within the AWS marketplace. So please visit our webpage listed on this slide and learn how you can onboard today. Before we move on with the presentation, I wanted to give a quick shout out to AWS Geek, who created this awesome illustration of AWS Ground Station. Now there's a lot going on in this slide, but as you review it, you'll see that it kind of goes through the entire process of how a customer would evaluate whether or not Ground Station is the right fit for them. You start off in the top left corner by doing your trade study on determining if you wanna make or buy your Ground Station. And if you decide that you wanna pay for Ground Station as a service, as opposed to 
um, committing a lot of CapEx and OpEx and in installing your own ground network at remote sites all around the world. Then you're able to, to evaluate if you want to use narrowband or wideband service to communicate with your satellites, decide which type of orbit your satellites may, may be in, as well as bring your data directly into the cloud for processing and analytics. This allows us to democratize space and lower the barrier of entry to users all around the world. Early methods of Earth observation and remote sensing used over 150 years ago include balloons and messenger pigeons. Imagery was used to map cities, regions, and areas of interest, or as some people in the industry say, AOIs. Collection of remote sensing data for weather forecasting and Earth sciences followed that. Then in the mid 20th century, people began using persistent satellite collection of data to support the growing space and intelligent programs. Now let's go over a few examples of the applications of earth observation remote sensing. In the agricultural industry, commercial fruit producers can monitor their crop health, water levels to ensure efficient use of limited resources. The global shipping industry is able to leverage registries of ship placement, destination, and tracking to confirm the accuracy of ship positioning, as well as be notified of any deviations from the normal operations. Earth observation data is also used in the forestry industry to help with fire safety and fire prevention. Use of low latency access to high resolution heat map images of the earth to inform the frontline fire commanders on the safest, lowest heat entry points to fight fires. The retail forecasting industry is able to use satellite images from over 44 major U.S. retailers to confirm the number of cars and parking lot yields and an, an informational advantage to forecasting accuracy. Now let's take a deeper dive into the force monitoring application. With this, you're able to use regional detection and monitoring of logging activity, enable enforcement of forestry legislation and management practices, protect endangered species threatened by dis diminishing habitat, all through using change, change detection to monitor the canopy, automated alerts for established AOIs, and hotspot monitoring using high resolution radar and LIDAR data. As we look at a particular image from forest monitoring, you can see deforestation happening in this particular rainforest today. There's benefit not only through the protection and rehabilitation of this wildlife zone, but also through sustaining tourism as well. In the marine monitoring application, you're able to reduce financial impact of marine pollution, broadcast early warning to environmentally sensitive coastlines, drive decisions for containment and cleaning efforts, reduce loss of habitat and damage to the marine life, and detect in incidents and integrate AIS data to identify responsible vessels. You can also identify nearby vessels to assist with assessment and forecast of the pollution dispersal. In this particular image from one of the radar satellites, you're actually able to see the oil slick moving with the currents and spreading ac across the coastline of Wales. And in this particular image, you're able to see the Gulf Stream as ocean temperatures are warming with the changing environment of the Earth. Another application of Earth observation and remote sensing is flood monitoring. You can provide flood warning days in advance with high accuracy and flood alerts. You can enable preventative action prior to the disasters occurring. You can forecast the impact of rainfall through monitoring the river and range gauge states continuously. You can locate and visualize flood impact on key infrastructure and assess human and financial impact of flooding. Flood planning for various scenarios can all occur through the use of earth observation and remote sensing data. Additional earth observation and remote sensing applications include using change detection with your satellites to invoke a tip and cue methodology. You can also use object counting for intelligence within the retail or national defense industries you can manage your natural resources and their volumes and stability. You can monitor national critical infrastructure. You can also alert authorities during real-time incidents, such as weather disasters. Or you can look at urban resilience for growth and development. Or maybe you'll simply ensure that nothing has happened at all. But all of these applications present us with a big data challenge. Today, there's an abundance of Earth observation and remote sensing data. And this data is valued in different ways. 
Some data is valued based on temporal resolution and others is based on spatial resolution. The challenge for us is to turn this data into information and or knowledge so that our leaders can make quick data-driven decisions. Now let's discuss how ground station plays an integral role in the earth observation remote sensing segment. AWS ground station is a fully managed service with access to antenna systems around the global AWS infrastructure. This service offloads the CapEx and OpEx burdens to customers and instead allows them to pay for the service by the minute. This also includes self-service scheduling and provides access to AWS resources and services since the antenna systems are located near the data centers. Moreover, customers are able to choose where they transport their data into the region of their choice, and this is all included in the price per minute. And for all those reasons, AWS Ground Station is able to answer the big data challenge. We offer data security to ensure that your data is secure from the moment it hits our antennas to the moment we deliver it within your VPC. We also offer physical security at all of our regions to make sure that your antenna systems or your data is never compromised. We also offer some of the best data connectivity throughout the world. We're able to transport your data from any region that is received using our fully redundant 100 gigabit per second global network of fiber optics. Finally, you're able to utilize the service through per minute pricing so that you never have to worry about contracts or long-term commitments. Now that you've received your data, start innovating with AWS. Use cloud compute services or machine learning services that are downstream from your EC2 instance within your VPC. Then store your process data or make it available to others within the AWS marketplace. The outcome of all of this is AWS Ground Station will allow you to accelerate your data into actionable information rather than reactive data. This provides a better experience through reliability, consistency, and repeatability of AWS Ground Station services. You're also able to secure your data with access controls to limit when, where, and how much of your data is distributed. Automate your processing and highlight relevant data to drive insights and intelligence. You focus on space, we'll handle the ground. Start building using AWS Ground Station today. Please visit our webpage located at the bottom of this slide and start learning how to onboard your satellite. Thank you for your time and see you at reInvent.